He's pretty tough and, and scary. He's got, ooh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Sorry, Pippa. Oh yeah, I'm coming through. Hey guys, over here, you big dumbos. <laughs> Pippa, run! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders. You're just in time. We're having Doozer for dinner. This is part six, so if you missed any episodes so far, please check out the links down in the description to catch up with the series. So today we're going to start things off here in town. I'm going to complete a few quests, and then we'll head over the hill and do battle with the fierce green dragon. So to start off here, we do have a quest from Pippa to build a dressing room. And I made a couple of uh, pre-episode prepped dirty dirt rooms here because <laughs> I kind of figured, hey, she has her own private room. Let's give some to the boys, even LaRouche. He doesn't really do anything around here, I don't think. Oh, he was cooking, I guess. He was trying to cook me. So let's, let's give this one. We could give it to us, but I'm okay. I know where I sleep on the giant king-sized bed that was stolen from the ghost castle. Okay, so we'll, we'll give Rollo a room near the workstation. Kenelm can be back here, close to the front lines. He is a soldier, after all. And then I need to make one more of these, because I wasn't originally planning on giving LaRouche a room. I was like, he, he can sleep in that other bedroom, but that's kind of a nicer room. I'm going to turn that into the dressing room here. So here we go. We have, oops, a room for, we got to wait for it to turn into a room before we can write on the side. Kenelm can have this one. And let me go craft one more of these. We do need another bed. Can I steal one of these? Oh, uh-oh. Uh, okay. We, I guess we couldn't take that. Let me let me move this torch over here. And let's make... We could just make, like, a double bedroom. There we go. It's a basic bedroom. I wonder why it needs both of the beds. Because <laughs> these ones don't really need them. Okay, so we're going to craft a couple things here. And I can do some other stuff while we're at it. So I need a... Uh, I got the beds. So I just need another one of the signs. But we're also going to need to craft... The armoire for the dressing room, I have the stools. One of them was also stolen from the ghost castle, but I crafted another one, so we got those. And then I also wanted to make some better armor, so say goodbye to the wayf wayfarer's clothes. They're, they're adorable and they look nicer, but we'll see what the leather armor looks like. It'll probably be better in terms of, oops, <laughs> defenses, but I don't know. I might not like it as much. Let's try it out. I guess he looks pretty cool. His arm protection leaves a little bit to be desired, but I think this will work out better, especially if we're going to go fight a dragon. We probably want better armor. So let's plop that down, maybe a little bit closer to the wall. Man, that thing is sturdy. And there we go. I do need to finish LaRouche's room. Let me do that first before we complete this quest, since we got the sign and everything. There we go. And then did I... I didn't steal him a bed. We need to, <laughs> we need to make one more bed here, but I got the materials. Unless we take the one out of there. There we go. Yeah, we didn't, that one doesn't need one. No one needs to sleep where everyone's working. That would be horrible. You'd have people scrabbling at the, the workstation behind your back. Or hammering like Rollo is doing. Okay. So this is LaRouche's room. I guess I need one more of these plaques eventually for my own room. But for now, we're focused on my citizens. They come first. So let's, uh, let's hit that and put it here. And here. And will that do it? There we go. Basic bedroom is now a dressing room. And Pippa is so excited. Everyone's coming to see. Wow, look at that. Wow, what a lovely dressing room. Thank you so much, Dooza. Rollo and LaRouche and Kenelm haven't changed their clothes once since they got here. I guess they, yeah, the dirty dirt rooms are perfect for a couple of dirty dirt boys. Whenever they're nearby, the smell's so bad I think I might faint. But now they can change into the clothes I made, and I can finally take out the earth I shoved up my nose to block the smell. Thanks again, Dooza. By the way, I made a lovely new dress for myself, too. I'll change into it right away. Well, give me a second to get out of here. Thanks for the eggs, though. Okay, is everyone just gonna jump in here while Pippa gets changed? Is that the kind of communal love-in village we got going on? <laughs> okay. Well, oh, LaRouche changed. He looks a lot more respectable now. He's still walking on the walls like a stray cat. And Kenelm, oh, he looks like my dream boy. My, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> the guy that showed up in my dreams, his ancestor. Rolo didn't really change his clothes, did he? I guess he maybe changed into newer ones. He already looked pretty respectable as a scholar. And Pippa, oh, she's beautiful. Look at the bonny lass in her dress. Aw, okay, yeah, they, they don't look like they're peasants straight out of the wilderness anymore. 
So that's good. Now I do have this plumberry shrub or uh, seedling. Let me place that here. So I, I put a couple outside town, but I looked at the description. It says if you plant them in your town, that's when they'll grow. So I do need to move these. I don't want to go crazy with it because it's going to block the camera and probably not look that great. But maybe we can stop some monsters <laughs> with the trees as well and make sure my citizens never leave. But yeah, the uh, the trees should grow and give me some nice plum berries. But I don't know if... Uh, it, so the, the mode that we do unlock after we complete Chapter 1, Terra Incognita, that lets you build everywhere. So this nice glowing territory is my town, but once we have that unlocked, then we can build wherever and it'll all count as your town. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if monsters spawn in that mode, so I'm maybe a little mixed. If, if monsters don't attack, then it seems like it wouldn't be as exciting. So we'll have to see. But right now we are in Chapter 1, and we're headed to fight the dragon. I almost went to go to the portal, but this is just a place over yonder from the town, and we gotta look out for some chimeras, but their wings will help. There we go. Okay, whoa, excuse me, buddy. They're a little ornery, considering the fact that I did kill a bunch of their relatives to make these wings. Okay, you're getting it. You are getting it. There we go, the copper sword, pretty strong and hopefully we'll do enough to this dragon. So I mentioned before, this dragon is in the demo, and if you fight him, I took him on with an oaken club. I had no clothes on. I was running around in my underwear because they broke right at the beginning of the fight, and there he is. Uh, I didn't really have much means to take him down, so it was kind of a tough battle. It took about 15 minutes of slash slashing away at him to get the reward and, and take him out. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, but hopefully... The copper sword is up to the task. Look at all these blossoms all over the place. Very peaceful little meadow for this sleeping dragon here. Let's get a nice shot in front of him for the thumbnail. There we go. There's Doozer in his new clothes. I kind of, yeah, let me <laughs> let me put on, like, if you're if, if it's an old-timey photograph, guys would, you know, dress up in their, in their best and then have a slime jump right on through. That slime's going to hit me, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> hey, get out of here. You hit me. What a little jerk. Okay, I'll put my better armor on and stop messing around. Let's take on this dragon. Oh, okay, he smelled me. Even in sleep, the dragon knows <laughs> the smell of a doozer. All right, so yeah, this guy, he's pretty tough and, and scary. He's got, ooh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> he's got this fire attack, which is great for clearing out these petals and grass for me. I can just kind of pick him up. And also, if we get too close to him, he will do a spin attack. There we go. Critical hit. Yeah, so that is... Ooh, that's going to clear a lot of this stuff out. That is very similar to the Iron Scorpion we fought just not too long ago on our way to that castle. I don't know about this fight. If we get a bunch of crits, we can take him down, and that's pretty much what I did before. But the pattern here that you want to, you know, rinse and repeat is hit him a bunch of times, maybe three or four times max after he does his fire breath. You want to kind of circle around him and then look out, because if he does that... AOE spin, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, geez, okay. I could definitely use an egg or two. Let me back up a little bit out of his range. He's not gonna, he really likes to stay in that spot, so I don't think he's gonna bother me. That's his den. I feel bad that I'm coming into his area and messing him up while these slimes just frolic around. Okay, so maybe, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. I did get a critical hit. I was gonna say, maybe I should come back later when I can do more damage, but his armor is so strong that the Oaken Club and the sword basically do the same, either one or zero. If I get a crit, then the Copper Sword is coming into play a little bit more and doing that extra damage. He looks so cool at night because he got the flame effects looking so nice. Definitely don't want to... I try to go next to him so I can get a little closer and make sure I get those hits. But if you go right in front of him and you run out of time to dodge, then... Ooh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just gonna battle him as long as it takes. I'll do a little montage here, or you know, I'll speed it up, and you guys can see the end result of my dragon battle. I'm in it for the long haul. Be gone, foul beast. All right, man, my copper sword's already almost broken, and after two days and two nights, Doozer slain the green dragon, and we got our first comfy couch. <laughs> so this is the reward for killing a green dragon. If you can believe it, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. All right, let's head back to town. Little slime sleeping as this epic battle was just raging next to them. 
So as long as you're not careless or get overly greedy about it, you should be okay fighting that dragon, even with a weaker weapon. I noticed the Oaken Club did 10 damage or so on a crit, but my sword was doing like 20, 22, 23, so definitely seemed like a better idea to tackle that dragon later on. But yeah, if you get hit from the spin attack and the fire breath, maybe two, three times, like three times or so, will take down your life, at least mine, at this point. So it's not really the best idea to go in and, you know, guns a blazing and careless, so you gotta be careful about that. I wonder if I put... What is my room missing to be a bedroom? I wonder if I put a little pot in there, if it would be considered a bedroom. And also, we could put another gentleman's sign. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna put this comfy couch. Maybe the comfy couch could go somewhere that's communal, but I don't know. Let's try it out here. I'm gonna give Doozer his own little room now. So what if I put this down? Is this now a, uh, nope, I guess it doesn't count because I don't have the type of bed that it needs, I guess, yeah. Oh wait. The first master bedroom! Ah, so it has to have a fancy bed and a fancy light source. I got kind of lucky there. There we go. And we're pretty close to leveling up here. Incredible! Oh, they're all, they're all clapping. <laughs> wow, not bad. Wow, look at that. Oh, okay, we stumbled upon something there. How, you like that? How about this? Nope, <laughs> they're in the way. This, look at this couch that I got for killing a dragon. All right, I'll put that in some place. A little nicer. Man, we lost 500 points. It's looking a little crowded over there. How about Pippa takes the uh, the big comfy couch here? There's not really enough room for her to have it unless it's at the foot of her bed, and that looks a little weird. There we go. I'm gonna actually rearrange her room. No, <laughs> Pippa, I'm sorry. You lost your room here. There we go. All right, and it should still be hers. Yeah, okay, I'm glad that it remembers that. And I can kind of move this over a little bit. She'll take this couch. I, I killed a dragon for you, Pippa and got you this big, comfy couch. There we go, there might be dust bunnies underneath. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's let's put some stuff away here, because I don't need all this, and then we should start getting that stone stockade built. I do have other stuff that I could use to decorate. Let me, let me see if I can level up the town real quick, and then we will get that stone stockade ready, because I feel like once that is down, we're probably gonna have a, uh, a battle on our hands. So, what was the, that's the stone stockade blueprint. Let me do this first and then we'll grab that. So, I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about some of the stuff that we have here. There's a nice chest, we'll give one to Pippa as well. And then who else would need one? There we go, that was enough. Ha ha, we leveled up. <laughs> Just launches a chest into the, the atmosphere. So that should make us a little bit stronger, I think. We'll give one to Rolo, there we go. And it, yeah, if you go into a room, it does tell you what each one does. Like, the bedroom had a, uh, a boost in health, but it looks like it doesn't do that anymore because it has become this uh, this little dressing room. But there we go. There's a nice place for people to just sit and, uh, and admire themselves. What if this has a stool in it? Let's put a stool over here so people can sit down and craft. And I'll put one at the campfire as well. Oh, those plum trees already... <laughs> plum berries already grew. I wonder if they're going to start dropping plum berries as well. Man, they are huge. Maybe we don't want all of them here. It looks a little crazy. How about just the two that are on the sides, and I'll chop these down for some wood. We have ample ample saplings if I ever want to make more. Okay, I've got these columns. What if we... These would look horrible in a room. What if we just, like, put them around this, like, uh, like the Triforce or something? There we go. Can we do this? There we are, that looks pretty good. I don't think we got anything from it because this isn't a room, unfortunately, but all right. And then could we put a buttress or two around here to just reinforce this wall? Maybe I'll put these on the other side of the stockade, but the stockade should probably be built in the town and we don't have much room here for that. Hmm. So my idea of what I'm gonna do is I will use dirt to build the stockade. I think we do need some more spikes, but that'll be cheaper because then we can just, you know, take the uh, take the little stone cladding, I think it's called, and then use that to cover what we need, and uh, just turn it to stone. Cause look, I only have like seven stone, so it's not gonna not gonna work out too well for me with that. But let's grab the blueprint here, and we'll lay it down. Or yeah, so this is what we want to do. Flip it around. Those are the spikes, and we need 16 spikes. And yeah, so this is where we're gonna put it, I guess. There's not enough space for it there. 
Can I lay it down? What if we... I might need to break into a wall here. Sorry, Pippa. Oh, yeah. I'm coming through. <laughs> Her bedroom was destroyed. She's probably so sad about that. Yeah, it's not letting me lay it down. There we go. Well, I'll just look at that. I'm not going to build over it, actually, in the way that it wants, because I want to put it right up next to the wall, and maybe we can use part of the wall to do that. So let's get going with it. I'm going to grab my spikes and make some more if we have the copper for it. We need to make copper. There we go. Shovel it in. So someone was asking about the shovel. We're going to need a shovel to complete the hammerhead, uh, not hammer, hammerhood task to, uh, to fix that garden. And I don't know if we're going to be able to do that for a while because it doesn't seem like we can build the uh, the shovel yet. We can't craft it, but I like how Doozer has a shovel when he <laughs> as at the forge and just shovels at an invisible who knows what. Okay, so 16 of these. We'll do six and then... Well, I'll, when I have four left, I know because I've got 20 of these. And I think this probably has to be inside town is my guess. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't count. There we go. And then I'm not really sure how to get... Not really sure how to get my uh, my blueprint back now that I laid it down. And I can kind of stack the... Once we get the first row going, then I can do this a little easier by sliding along here. There we go. That'll be easy. And then that's all we have to do, I think, is just... Oops. Is just uh, get that grass out of the way. Build the wall around it a little bit. So that's why I started with the spikes. Make it a little easier to know how much we have to build. There we go. And just this whole line here should be enough. I like how Doozer, I can even like jump on these spikes and he doesn't get hurt. Only monsters are harmed by these spikes. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to get the blueprint back once we we have it down, unless I go into recipe, or, uh, buildings and blueprints. Yeah, so that's all we need there. We can kind of see it. Yeah, there we are in a 3D form. So I wonder if I, I just had to build it that way or it wasn't going to let me pick that up. Who knows? That might be there forever, unfortunately. This is my secret entrance that no, no monster knows how to do. And maybe I don't even know how to do it. You're supposed to just push up against the wall, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, man. We might just have to break on through Pippa's bedroom again. It's not working now, and it was before. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's a good way to get in without leaving a vulnerability with the monsters. And did we, we have some stone cladding already, don't we? Let me check my supplies, because we probably don't need a ton of this. To uh, We don't have any. We have some stone, but we don't have stone cladding. Let me build another one of these, because, yeah, it's so much cheaper. You only need three stone wall to make this, and then you're basically multiplying your stone walls. So why wouldn't you do it unless you're just, you know, Trying to only use the stone. Because, yeah, yeah, I got like six or, yeah, double that. Twelve out of that little stone cladding that I could just harvest from there. And then might as well just use one here, I guess. There we go. And, hmm, didn't seem to work. That should be. Do we have to build it over the blueprint, I wonder, since I laid the blueprint down? Let me try to figure this out, and I'll be back. All right, so the blueprint, when you're standing on it, you can hit the little touchpad on the PlayStation controller, and that's how you can remove it or hide it. And it also seemed like it didn't really like me building it so close to town, like right up on Pippa's wall. Probably not the best idea to have her room be a load-bearing wall for this monster stockade. There we are. All right, completed. Can I jump back up a little easier this time? Or I could just use the buttress here to get out. Oh, okay, roller's coming through. <laughs> Marvelous work. By my elegant elbows, Doozer, you've completed the stone stockade. Those monsters will be in for a rude shock next time they attack us. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> it's almost like I want them to attack, like I'm secretly evil. Uh, by the way, Doozer, while you were putting together those new fortifications for our town, I was hard at work gleaning even more secrets from the Canton Chronicle. And I learned something quite remarkable. The monsters of Cantlin do not merely roam this realm willy-nilly. They are under the control of a great and powerful monster. Only by defeating this fearsome fiend can light be restored to this land. Doozer, my boy, we know now what we must do. We must continue to strengthen our town's defenses to fend off the monster's increasingly aggressive assaults. But as we do so, we must also add to our own arsenal of weapons and armor that we might one day defeat the monster's leader. The Stone Stockade was built... You built is but the first step on our road to victory. 
Good work, Dusa. Good work. <laughs> Mine is an evil laugh. Look, only, only three pieces of fur for all that work. All right. So we've got some new quests. Let's talk to him again here while he's standing on one foot, bouncing on a stone. With the stone stockade keeping the monsters at bay, we can finally concentrate on making Canton great again. <laughs> okay. I'm not touching that one. However, I've noticed that you've had your hands full lately, tending to the various whims and whimsies of your townspeople. It seems you haven't had much time to focus on your own building work. So I'm giving you free reign to build whatever pops into your funny little head. And that could build... You could build new rooms or furniture, or even just replace the walls of your current buildings with something a little more durable. You need to practice your building skills and become a better builder than ever before. In doing so, you'll bring this city another step closer to its glorious revival. So go, Dooza. Do what you must to take this town and your building skills to another level. By my lustrous locks, the city is looking better than ever. Your building skills are just as the Catlin Chronicle describes. I think we got the town leveled up enough for him to just automatically give us a pass. But Dooza, my boy, you still have a long way to go. It is nearly time for you to seek out one who can... Bring out even more of your powers of creation. The Cantlin Chronicle describes a legendary blacksmith who went by the name of Ma Magog. <laughs> Though Magog lived many hundreds of years ago, it seems his descendant is still alive somewhere. If we are to stand any chance of defeating the monster who rules this land, we must find a way to build even stouter walls and stronger weapons. If anyone knows the secrets of forging such items, this scion of Magog may be our man. I'll gather all the information I can about him and let you know as soon as I've tracked him down. When that time comes, Dooza, I hope I can count on you to do your duty. Okay. We definitely need that after the, the dragon battle, because I could use a little more life. Oh, we got a monster fight on our hands. Probably a good way to end the episode. Okay, let me get over here. Let me see what the other quest is before we get into it. Now, I'm worried about this. The, uh, the fact that there's uh, a way to get around and jump on the buttress there. So maybe I'll take out some stone here or we have castle walls as well that would probably be a little more fortified what is this one is straw flooring we haven't used that yet let's let's make some uh let's make some straw here so i could just do this and uh kind of make that a little more intensified or uh fortified is the word <laughs> uh i put that back there the uh the buttress just because i thought it looked cool that's kind of what the one looked like in the in the ghost castle the ghost that told us how to build it had those but i don't know it's probably not worth having there if it means that monsters can jump up and get through now i'm stuck using my secret entrance if i can just do it it's tougher than it looks because you gotta like scoot your way over and in the time that i'm doing that i could probably just go around here let me do this while i'm at it as well kind of fix some of these walls up the outer ones especially seem like they should be stone and that'll make it a little easier on us. Okay. And uh, you pretty much, yeah, could get unlimited stone if you just use one of those and then break it and use another. How much does this cover? Let's try this here and see. Whoa, okay. It's a little weird there. That's still stone. That looks strange. It's kind of like outside the door, but it doesn't look bad. Let's do one in here and see how much it'll cover. Kind of want to get the corner here. Yeah, building a bunch of these would help. It doesn't go through walls, but it does go around doors. There we go. Pippa's got a nice room. Could probably replace some of the stone here with that. I don't know. That's <laughs> If you want to clean up the bathroom pot, you don't want to be doing it on straw flooring. You want to have the uh, the stone there. Okay, so who... LaRouche, you're my man. What's up? Hello there, Doozner. Having fun with all your little building projects, are you? I'll tell you right now, if you're thinking of building the city even bigger or making weapons to fight the monsters, I'm dead against it. Now, I'm not saying it's not fun to build things, and if I did say that, I would would not be lying. Would not be lying. <laughs> it's just that the workshop you built for us is so dark and dreary, it's really draining my will to build. If it were just a little bit more inviting, I don't doubt I wouldn't feel quite so, well, not negative, but... Mm, to sum up, Juzer, I think the work workshop needs a leather sack and a sconce on the wall. It could do with a sign shop hung up there, too. Wouldn't that make a perfect place to work? Ah, uh, Juzer, how are the improvements to the workshop coming along? Okay. So we want to... I'd prefer to live alone, but there's no denying that having a shared space to build new tools makes life a lot easier. If only that room were more inviting. So we need a leather sack from the Hammer Hoods. We got one from the Brownie, actually, and a sconce and a sign shop. Okay. I don't think we built a sconce yet, but that is in my crafting wheelhouse here. So let's see. So a sconce. What do we need? That's pretty easy. All right, we'll do that. 
And then we can steal a leather sack from the wall. And I think that's all he said that it needs. Well, let me grab one of these. I got a couple in my room. This one's not doing much because it's just on a wall that isn't even technically a room. I think it still counts towards our town total, but it's not helping us here. And a si oh, yeah, the sign shop, I did make one of those as well. So let's do that. I'll put a sconce over here. There we go. And then let me grab the... Oh, nope, don't sit down, Doozer. There's still work to do. <laughs> There's so many things that I'm accidentally targeting. Okay, there's the sign shop. The shop sign. <laughs> this is not a, a, a shop that sells signs. It's a... There we go. All right, and is that it? Aha, our first stonemason studio. And they, yeah, I was worried they weren't going to show us how to build shops anytime soon, but there we are. They can build furniture and put it in the chest and make equipment more durable. So what do they, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I think this might be stuff that I put in there. Although some of it looks a little different. I don't remember all these chests and cord and yeah, a lot of that must be new. They're probably crafting this stuff. Not bad. Now I see you finish your improvements to the workshop. It doesn't look half bad. Yes, I think this is much more conductive to my style of work. I dare say the town might benefit if you put your forge in the workshop as well. Uh, look, Doozer, I can't deny that all these tools are useful. Nor can I deny that living with your friends isn't entirely intolerable. But there are more important things at stake. I realize I'm repeating myself here, but I insist that you exercise caution. If your building works draws the attention of the monsters, they will destroy you. However, much Rolo may try to tempt you. You must not expand this town any further. Should your hubris get the better of you, it will summon forth a force beyond reckoning. The very same monstrosity that laid waste to Cantlin once before. The Golem! Is he saying if I get my town level up too high? I wonder if it'll summon forth the golem. Ooh, that doesn't seem good. So do we, we don't even really have room for the forge in here. I bet I could build this a little nicer. Let me see. I'm gonna make some more stone cladding, but to do that, we have to steal some stone because I don't have enough to make any more of that. So let me, let me take some of this stone here. Oh, didn't mean to take the buttress as well. I'm taking this out until, oh <laughs> jeez. <laughs> dug down a little that happened in the other episode I like d dug down too too fast and it it was not good for anybody there we go okay I'll put the buttress back if we didn't lose it and there it is yeah I don't need all this stuff but I figured I'd put it in my inventory here for later yeah they gave me some straw flooring and I guess that just kind of popped up there unless I stole it and put it I get it's hard to keep track of how many things I've stolen from ghosts Okay, and then I'm going to do this out here so I don't have to go all the way back in. It's floating, but who cares? We can make more of that. And then also I want to make more of the stone flooring if we can. Oh, no, we have to go back inside to do that at the forge. So let me grab that. There we go. We can actually jump on that and do it. So let's build more of that. I'm going to move some of the walls around. Stone cladding is what I want. And we'll make that room a little bigger. And then I'll, I'm going to take this out of here. As much as it pains me to lose the forge from my room. How much, or I wonder what the for, forge costs, because I could just build a second one. Make it a little more convenient for me. There we go. It's pretty cheap. There we are. All right. And I should probably put this one back <laughs> once it came. Because, yeah, I do go into my room a lot to do a lot of the stuff, like crafting and things. Pippa, it's time for bed. I'm holding a forge, but I'm going to sleep. And then we'll... Uh, We'll finish crafting that room, and then I want to go out on the monster battle. I think that would be a good way to, to end the episode. We did have that fight with the dragon, but you guys didn't get to see a lot of it. Pippa's floating in the air. <laughs> I went to sleep with her floating, so she didn't quite get to land, I guess. All right, so this is my plan here. We're going to go out back the workshop and expand it quite a bit. Is this? This is still in town right here. So I can do this, and let's just, you know, expand this all the way that we can. To right to the edge of the town. The music's gonna keep changing if I go back and forth. So I'll try to stay outside while I can here. There we go. And that should be good enough. And then I'll turn this all to stone to make it a little bit more inviting to the monsters to not attack it. <laughs> we don't want them attacking it. Here we go. Gonna have to waste one on this, I guess, but that's all right. And then one more, I'll just finish out this wall here, best I can. Um, no, that's gonna bug me. I'll work on getting this all, you know, sorted out where it looks nicer. There we go, oh no! <laughs> we lost our beautiful 
new workshop, but that's the way it works sometimes. Oh, we have new we have more stone here now that I did this, so this will be easy to easy to fix. I can get more of the cladding and I can finish enforcing this. We have like pieces of the castle wall that I got from the, the ghost castle, but we can't build any of it yet really, so this is my plan for now. Make it all this stone. I'll hang this over here. And that should be good. We'll put a forge in the corner. And uh, how about right here? Oop, it's so big. There we go. Was that? That took up that whole spot, possibly. There we go, the blacksmith studio. Oh, so it did expand it more because of the, the smithing station. So that is a new room, technically. There we go. I'm going to move these back here. And everyone's coming to cheer. It really it does wonders for your self-esteem when your whole town comes and cheers for you for laying down blocks and stuff. Okay, so what do we want to do to finish up here? I'll put another chest next to that. I got so many chests. Let's give LaRouche one, just because he seems like he'd put stuff in it and squirrel it away from the rest of it. He seems like he's the guy, if you were on a deserted island, he would, like, take a bunch of your stuff and hide it, like the food, and he wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> no. Hopefully he's not that type of person. I think I should be listening to him. Because it seems like, you know, Rolo's the guy that we met after Pippa. He's one of our first friends. He seems like he could be trusted. But if you think about it, LaRouche seems to, to know a little more about how we should be protecting ourselves from the monsters. He seems more weary of the repercussions of all the stuff that I've been doing. So, I don't know. We're part way to level four. But should I go all the way through with it and, uh, and try to... Make our, oh no, I shouldn't have been floating there because now that's gonna, it's gonna be all wrong. I'll just use as much of this as I need because, you know, I can always get more stone. I think if I stand in this corner and I'm not floating, then, uh, oh, that, there we go. Now if I put it down, yeah, you kind of want to get into a good spot where it hits as many walls as possible. And then that I can just, you know, replace with a normal stone just to speed it up. I'm not gonna worry too much about this hole Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, La LaRouche is like, okay, that's my bedroom. It's not my bedroom. It's my bedroom. It's not my bedroom. <laughs> he comes going back and forth. Okay. I think this place is looking pretty good. We could add some straw flooring to, uh, to some of the rooms here as well to maybe spruce it up a little more. That looks weird. I might get rid of some of the flooring that's outside the doors because I don't know if I like it. Eh, now that it's all lined up in the light of a new day, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, let me get rid of my last straw floorings before we finish up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to end with an exciting, hopefully, monster battle. So let's, uh, let's put this stuff away that I don't need and sort my stuff. Okay, I think we're good to go. I might head to the cooking fire here. Oh, excuse me. I'm missing a block there. Might head to the cook fire, grab anything that LaRouche cooked up. It's, it says this is a piece of doozer. No. <laughs> Yeah, I was standing on it, but he can't actually cook me that I know of. Okay, where's Rolo? We're going to end this with a nice battle. Look how much this place has changed just in one episode. It looks so much nicer, like a real town. By my nobby knees, do as I have terrible news. It seems the monsters plan to attack us again, and in greater force than ever. We do have the stone stockade on our side and stronger weapons than ever before, but still, we must not let our guard down. Be sure all your weapons and engines are close at hand and be ready to face the enemy down. I think he means my, like, healing cream. So, Dooza, are you prepared for battle? I think so. Can I craft stuff during battle? Because I actually wasn't fully prepared. What if I go back here and, uh, go to this? Some skeletons appear. We can do this quickly, though. Let me just get a backup sword, just in case, because you never know what's going to happen when skeletons appear. So I'm going to I'm gonna equip this on my, uh, my, myself. There we go. All right. I'm heading through. Skeletons. Are you gonna fall for this trickery? You're not getting through my couch. Oh no, he's going around. Uh, okay, they didn't fall for it. Maybe these ones will come after me. Hey guys, over here, you big dumbos. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> They're stuck on it. They only took a little bit of damage. I hope they can hold off the other ones. Kettle, get over there. Stop walking around the walls like a stray cat. We got stuff to fight. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> ah, oh, jeez. I am actually stuck. Oh no, the brownies are breaking through! Don't you dare break- Oh my gosh. Well, when they break through, then I'll be able to fight. Oh, I can't believe that I put those buttresses there. Okay, Kenelm's okay. 
What's going on over here, guys? I've messed myself up where I can't get to... I can't get to my buddies. Don't you hit Pippa. <laughs> this is a disaster. Pippa, run! <laughs> okay, let me get through my secret entrance. I wasn't going to mess with that in the middle of a fight. Get him! Okay, Rolo. Good job. All right. Is that everybody? We hit a couple skeletons. I don't see any... Where is the other skeleton? Some brownies appear. Hey, brownies. Over this way. Oh, I'm stuck in... <laughs> I should fill this in, because it definitely seems like it's not good to have this whole thing. Yeah, they're not breaking it. I wonder if this is stronger, and they can't hurt it through the spikes. Careful, Kenelm. Use the stockade. Use it wisely. This doesn't seem like a good little crack and crevice to have. I can jump on these when there's another block out of the way, but not like this. So I'm gonna let Kenelm take those brownies down. I might as well get in the mix. Doesn't seem like it could hoit. There we go, and oh no! That's an axe knight, isn't it? Oh geez, these guys are tough. I really need food. Excuse me, Kenelm, I know you're, you know, in a bad way. Hold them off, guys, I'm eating my breakfast. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Let me get in here. Yeah, I think this is an axe knight. He's not too tough, though. He looks really cool, but he's not the toughest around. There we go. Take that. We got him. All right. I don't think that was the boss of the monsters. It's probably that golem. We got a red teleportal. <gasps> okay, we got a new place to explore next time. And did the town level up or what? Every Yeah, look at the banner. Ha-ha. That'll teach him. That could have gone worse. Think twice before something. <laughs> All right, so I think to finish up here, I might, you know, fill up this little area. I'll do this off camera so you guys don't have to see it. Didn't mean to heal there. These buttresses really backfired on me. Not like all the other times buttresses have come through for me. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. You got to get right on the edge. That's how you do it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. We got new quests and a new red teleportal to travel through seemingly to a whole new area. So let's do that on the next episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye. Oh, hold on, bonus scene. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Doozer's mind. I shouldn't have slept after that fight, I guess. <gasps> Who's this little guy with the bad hair part? Ugh, <sighs> would that I might pass all the remaining days of my life with my beloved. Yet the knowledge that a monster might rob us of this simple joy at any moment weigheth heavy upon my mind. But all shall be well when thou defeatest the Dragon Lord. God speed you, brave adventurer. So he's, yeah, he's talking to us like we're back in this town. Ah, uh, to be alone with my beloved is to forget all that threateneth this world. Ah, uh, but alas, I cannot put our plight entirely from my thoughts. For my love informs me that, were our will to be destroyed, our love too must surely perish. And yet, <laughs> a sigh, I know that my heart, in my heart, that we shall soon be redeemed from this peril, for thou art the scion of Erdrick, hero of legend. So these guys are all, you know, laying their hopes on the descendant of Erdrick. When dark doth spread across the land, light shall return by Erdrick's head. <laughs> That was my dear departed grandsire's favorite phrase. O oh, almighty goddess, we pray that the ancient teachings hold true. May thy light shine upon brave quest. <laughs> Would you kiss your mother with that mouth? I think they're talking about us or maybe someone related to us. It seems like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was our own memory, his own memory or somebody else's doozer can't remember. Okay, we'll maybe solve that mystery next time on Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> Goodbye.